Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I would like to show uh, how you can do what we call the virtual page view. Okay. Um, you do not have much uh, reference actually to the concept of virtual page view in Matomo Analytics, basically because this concept is more popular with uh, Google Analytics. Um, so actually we do not really use the word virtual page view in Matomo Analytics. We use actually a feature which is called uh, uh, set custom URL. The typical use case are uh, when you would like actually to fire a new page view and um, uh, there is no real uh, page view which is loaded. So you want artificially to create a page view uh, whereas uh, there is no page view actually. Um, so it's not that uh, useful actually in Matomo because uh, most of the time you use these techniques in order to track uh, forms. And actually there are so many ways that actually you can track activity on forms, such as uh, tracking as an event um, or even tracking as a goal directly when the form is sent. That actually, yeah, Matomo users are not really uh, familiar to it. But let's imagine that you would like to, to do it anyway. So in this example, I would like to fire a new uh, page view in Matomo Analytics when someone is clicking on this uh, button called Click Me. Uh, so it's a dummy example as usual, but it's just going to show you actually uh, the full process. Um, actually, if you just uh, read the documentation here in Matomo, you may think that actually you need to fire the set custom URL as you wish to do it if you are uh, Google Analytics user with uh, the uh, track page view feature, but it's not really working the same way in, in Matomo Analytics. So if you want to use uh, this feature, what you need to know is that it needs to be sent uh, along with the track page view um, uh, feature. Here you have a documentation about it, but it's not specific for uh, the for the set custom URL. It's This example is really tailored for uh, tracking on a single page website. So I'm going to show how you can uh, easily do it. So all you need is uh, those three lines of code. You may be interested in uh, sending as well a new title through set document title, because normally when you have a new page view, you have as well a new title and it can be as well uh, useful if uh, you would like to track a goal because in Matomo you can define a goal uh, through a title. So uh, all you need to do is of course to have Matomo Analytics already installed on your website. Okay, so I basically installed this one on all the pages of my website. That's what the former tag was about. Here I'm just going to call it like a fake uh, URL generation on a button on a button. Okay, so I'm just going to copying and pasting uh, the tracking code that we saw. Uh, as I say, it was not really specific for this specific case. So I'm just going to say uh, the guy clicked on the button, clicked on the button. Okay, so here I'm going to remove all of that because I don't need it. So here you can decide to send as well a title. So, hey, you click me, clicked on me, and then along with the track page view. So here we just need now to have our uh, script tag. Yep. okay. And here the condition is when someone's clicking on uh, the so-called button that I have here. And if I look here at the elements, I will basically see that there is uh, an ID which is equal uh, click button. So I'm going to play with this one. I'm going to say, hey, I want to trigger those lines of code that you can see above when there is uh, someone who click not on the link, I made a mistake here, I'm so sorry. Uh, when someone's click on an element, so let's go this way and let's say uh, all element clicks, uh, click on click button ID. Okay, so just double checking 
Let's click button. Happy. Okay, equals blah blah blah. Okay. So normally if I do this properly and if I'm lucky enough, it could work. Okay, so now let's uh, yeah we can publish it anyway. So uh, fake URL example. So here what I would like to achieve is when someone click actually on this specific uh, button, it should actually send a fake paid view URL. So here, oh, V2, because I had V1 before. And it's now live, OK? Uh, so basically, I'm just going to check on the dashboard within my website and within the visitor log on the date of today, okay, today, uh, blah, blah, blah. So I have my fake, blah, blah, blah. okay, so I'm still on the page, happy. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, refresh it, okay. So I refresh it, so normally I'm on fake URL example. Let's check again. Okay, all good. And now I'm gonna click on this button, right? So I just click on it. Um, I don't know if something happened, so I'm gonna double check it here. Hey, it clicked on me, so that's great. Uh, so as you can see, um, it's working properly. Um, I only have one issue here, is the fact that I don't know if I click twice on it or if I uh, click several times on it, or if it's double counting it. So just in order to double check this, um, I'm just going to uh, refresh the page here. So normally it should Okay, that's great. And now let's just click once on the button and see if it's recording once or several times. Okay, so okay, so here I just clicked once on it. Great. Uh, so actually, it works, and I'm happy. So as you can see, uh, it sets uh, the set custom title to this uh, title properly, and we wrote actually. Uh, the URL, even if it did not load back actually the page, so it seems that everything's working uh, well. So I'm just loading this page again. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it seems to work as a charm. And perfect. Okay, so uh, that's it actually for today. I really uh, show you what I wanted, which is how you can easily uh, generate in uh, Matomo Tag Manager uh, virtual page view. And you can, as you can see, actually, you can even add the title uh, to this uh, new virtual page. And uh, you need as well to uh, use those uh, two uh, functions just before the track page. Thanks for watching.